absolutely shredded that. Gone. Right, welcome back. If you watch my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, right, you'll see this happen to me van. That's not good. Pull her out. That's 61. That was not good. And it was an absolute disaster. And it ended up costing me something like 400 odd quid. New tyre, alloy to be um, re skimmed because it was trashed on the edges and basically powder coated. And I also had, rookie mistake here, the wrong socket because the original nuts, I think, on this were a 19 on it, which is like the spur socket where you're getting your pack down there. New alloys. 17s and I didn't have one so we had to have a call out with the uh, AA embarrassing but you learn so hopefully you learn from that make sure you got right socket in your van anyway so for that reason alone I've ordered this now I've got it on Amazon and it's basically a tyre pressure monitoring system so in the box you get your usual destructions right but this version right it's got a little monitor, a little tiny screen, and on the back of it, it's a USB-C chargeable. It's put charge up initially when you first use it. But it's got a solar panel on the back. So basically that screen will mount to the dash or somewhere where you want it in order to keep in view. And it should give me a readout on what the wheel tire pressures are. And the reason why I'm doing that is, if I'd have had a warning on the motorway that one of my tires was deflating quick, I could have reacted a lot quicker if that alarm had gone off got into the hard shoulder and it might have been a case of depending on where the rapid puncture was whether it could have been repaired that tyre and I would have saved all the hassle of getting my alloys redone and all that stuff and potentially having a serious accident as well because it happened on my front uh, left hand side sort of steering wise and you can imagine going out motorway and then poof, gone and that was it so basically this kit comes with four tyre pressure sensors right now I have no idea how this is going to work out whether it's going to be one of them rubbish projects what you put on it just doesn't work going off all the time but you've got to, you've got to try these things and, and anything what adds safety is a bonus really so they're all, they're lettered up rear right rear left and all that stuff and the basically just screw on to your valves on your tires and that and then you sync it up with the little monitor so what i'm going to do now is fire the old compressor up i'm going to get all the tires set to one pressure all the way through now here's another one as well with tire pressures what the people use on the the vans with the um, bfg um, ko2s on it now bearing in mind mine are 75 profile not a 65 and there's a lot of vans with the 65 profile but mine's a 75 profile because you get more weight loading on it um leave in comments down below what pressures you run at now originally when i had the blowout i was running at 60 psi on all the tires and it was quite stiff as well now i wouldn't have thought that would have led to the tire walls getting warm and having a blowout on that but i don't know I don't, it could have been a pothole or just i've hit something on the road but this time i've run them all at 55 all the way around just to take that harshness out of the tire now it does stay 80 80 psi like maximum psi on the tires now if you run these tires you have these tires on your van and you put 80 psi in these they are like bricks and it's just unbearable so i think an happy medium i've found is 55 psi i mean leave it comments if you think it's a bad idea running them that low or you think it should be a bit higher or a bit lower some bit i don't i don't know what other people are running them at so just leave it in comments anyway so we'll get the compressor fired up get them all up 55 psi and then we'll mount our monitor i'll stick this in the window now while i'm faffing so it'll get a charge on it and then um we'll set them up and we'll see how good this is and what i'll do as a little test i'll just let a bit of her out right so we'll check this back one first so this back passenger rear or near side rear as you want to call it let's see what pressure this one comes in at right so on that one there so that's 55 so rear left these just go on We'd probably get nick like but we have an audio right so i've not put it on whack tight keep your caps probably should have cleaned these first right so that one's on we'll go around and do the rest see you in a moment now this comes with a little bracket 
and the bracket basically goes over where the solar panel section is and you just slide it down to it lock it in place and then it's got two sticky tabs on the back there so ideally it would look good probably up here or something but because you need the solar panel side of it it's gonna to have to go somewhere where you can see it but it's not intrusive so i might stick it up here somewhere i might have a modification coming for that <coughs> soon so if i do put it there it's going to be a temporary placement should i say but we'll get it in anyway we've all dangled out of the way and there we have the monitor so next step is destructions and we need to see how we pair this together now it said at the factory that each tire monitor is paired straight away so got three buttons on top you've got your left button which is your power m button and right button right let's switch it on see what it looks like so that's the uh, screen now it comes up your first initial goes on so you've got temperature and i'm assuming that's outside temperature that so it's going through now i've actually just left it switched on now and it's actually picking up all the separate valves on it so if i stop putting my finger in where you'll see it's green better right so in the first menu on here now it gives you the quantity at the top so quantity p four tires except between two and four tires but we're doing four tires then next menu is a that's the pressure unit so that's shown in bar so we want to change that bar to psi it's up to you what you want to run it in press menu for save it and the next one is the temperature settings so we've got it in celsius your next setting is front tire pressure alarm value set so it's some 44 and i want it set to so i've got my tire pressure set at 55 now so we've done it at 53 that should give us a, a nice warning if there's a psi drops on it or something so we'll set that one then front tire low pressure what all right so someone's just messed up so we'll go back to the front tire pressure again press on that and the one a high pressure so we set it 55 so set 57 give it a little bit more because if you're getting bumps and it's like you're going to get a, like a bit of pressure increase so it's not the high pressure i'm looking at it's the low pressure really then the four pl is a front tire low pressure so set that to 53 you, i might have to adjust these a little bit more and give them a bit of leeway in that because they might set an alarm off or anything it's going off all the time you never know do you so right tire high pressure alarm value setting so do the same again for that one save that one and then same for the left hand side and then 78 is high temperature alarm value no i don't know if that's the temperature of the tires if it is it's good but i'm not too sure if it is um it's set at 75 degrees so I'll probably leave it at that end because I'm not too sure what temperature these run up to or anything. So it's quite I didn't know that was on it to be honest with you. So we'll leave that one. Now tire sensor position placement. So we've already set these because it's written actually on top of them. So it, this must be if you get like a dodgy sensor, you can change it or something. Once you've done all your settings then, I think it's long press on right hand side. And it goes back to the main menu. Now you see that one there is showing 57 on that rear tire. So that's a PSI out of touch. So I think, and that's the alarm you basically get from it. So if we let a touch of air out of that one, and then we'll see that adjust. So I'm going to nip out now, and let's see how live that is. I also, we're supposed to make that on the back of the bloody um, valve, like a lock nut to it, stop it coming off. So I'm going to stick that on now I do that. There we go, 56. So we actually took that pressure, that, that valve off then to put that lock nut on and it gives you a warning straight away, which is quite good. And that, that's what I'm looking for. The minute the pressure drops and that starts beeping, you know, you get yourself to a place of safety. I'll just check the tyres and make sure it's not a dodgy sensor. Also, I forgot to show you as well, in each tyre sensor, right, you've got a little battery in them. Uh, CR1632 battery on it. So to be fair, right, that's not a bad little kit, that. And it does work straight away. As soon as I release them caps, it was like beep, 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 in the alarm. And it's not like a massive piercing noise as well. Do you know what I mean? And it's got an auto shut off because it's just shut off now. I got that from um, Amazon. I think it was 28 quid. But there's, they're running a promotion on that as well. So it's 10% off that as well. So it's a couple of quid savings there on it. And it's called 
tire pressure monitoring system i'll stick a link in the uh description below but i tell you what you can't put a price on safety if the system works and if it's like a 20 odd quid it's definitely worth it because that had the potential of um a serious accident that not only to ourselves but also the public on the, on the motorway as well it's a short video random and i hope you took something out of it but don't forget to leave a comment on what your tire pressures are because it's interesting in that on what mine should be running at or what you think they should be run at. Great. See you on next mod. Backstep next time.